Aliens Colonial Marines will forever be remembered as one of the most controversial games ever made. Bugs, glitches, poor AI and even a graphical downgrade were some of the criticisms levelled at it during its launch. Well, it turns out that one of these problems was caused by just, just one single typo. Developed by Gearbox Software and published by Sega, Alien Colonial Marines came out in February of 2013 for PC, PS3 and 360, where it was met with a barrage of negative reviews. Colonial Marines sits at a score of 48 on Metacritic for the 360 version, with criticism about the uninspired gameplay, subpar voice acting, poor graphics and an abundance of technical issues. One of the more notable issues with the game was the dopey Alien AI, which was a goldmine for the kind of people making top 10 lol glitch moments videos on YouTube. But for the fans, well, it was just a bit crap. After being dragged through the mud critically, however, Colonial Marines was considered a sales success. It shifted 1.31 million copies across the US and Europe as of March 2013. Colonial Marines generated further controversy, however, when it became the subject of a debate about graphical downgrades in video games and how games are marketed to us at trade shows. The pre-launch demos that Gearbox was showing off at conventions like E3 and PAX had significantly higher graphical fidelity than the retail version, which had different lighting, low res textures and poor anti-aliasing, among other things. The discrepancy in quality between Colonial Marines E3 demo and the retail version helped coin the phrase bullshot. It's a term we now use whenever publishers or developers make their game look better than the actual end product in pre-release marketing materials in an effort to push sales. Bullshot's one of the biggest problems in the industry, I guess, where, uh, where they're trying to uh, show your product which looks shinier and better than it, the actual fan thing is going to be, as in the video looks better, the um, images or screenshots of the game looks better, and then you get the game and it looks like shit. We saw it with the Division, the original Division, yep. uh, where it, the, the screenshots look awesome. You look on the on the Valve Steam Steam page, they're and still there. The game the game looks awesome, and then you you install it and you're like, well, this isn't this isn't what it, what it looks like. And Aliens Colonial Marines was one of the first biggest examples that everyone really got worked up about because because it it did feel like there was a big difference in some very measurable ways and this god knows how many side-by-side -side comparisons it's, it was a big part of the problem uh, with the game's launch people were just convinced that it did not look as good as what they were promised a few years later during an interview with Eurogamer Gearbox president Randy Pitchford tried to blame the downgrade on marketing saying he has no involvement with how the game is advertised and he thought Colonial Marines had great graphics But not everyone agreed with Pitchford's assessment, and in 2015, two people filed a class action lawsuit against Gearbox and Sega, claiming they had falsely advertised the game. In the years since its stormy release and the game's firm placement in internet video game infamy, anonymous reports even accused Gearbox of shifting development staff from Aliens onto Borderlands, while another team, Timegate Studios, was brought in to help develop the game instead. And as it turns out, there is still more to this story. Now, this might come as a surprise, to some of you, but there is still a fairly active modding scene for Colonial Marines. And one particular modder has been in the news recently for discovering a typo, which is at least partly responsible for the game's poor AI. After a recent thread on Reset Era recommended people play Colonial Marines with the Templar GFX Overhaul mod, another thread popped up from user Jingles Bunny pointing out why the game's AI was as terrible as it was. And the reason? Well, it was all down to a single letter typo in the game's code. Back in October 2017, modder James Dickinson 963 discovered there was a typo in the game's .ini file, which affected how the aliens spawn and move in relation to the player's location. The line of code reads, attach pawn to tether. Tether with an A in the tether. But it was meant to say attach pawn to tether with no A. Because of this one letter difference, it left the AI unable to function properly. This one line of code is important because when an alien is spawned, it's attached to something called a zone tether. The zone tether tells the alien AI what type of environment it's in and where the different exits are. But in combat, the AI is meant to swap tethers so that they don't get grouped up and they are able to flank the player. But the typo prevented the AI from swapping tethers, and that's what partially resulted in the terrible AI which was seen in the final version of the game. Uh, this was really a big 
core of the of the issue really is just the aliens themselves in the game and how they were behaving and not behaving. They were just they were just bugged into the game a lot of the time. It looked like they were just clipping through walls and shit like that, and they just weren't attacking properly and they were running on the spot. All kinds of mad shit. Um, this it, it basically is its own genre on YouTube as far as I'm concerned. It's just messed up aliens colonial marines footage. This was a big part of the problem because the game is not fun if the enemies aren't behaving like enemies are supposed to behave they're behaving like broken lines of code that you know weren't spelled properly the fact that it's a small typographical error is is so what is it insane it's mad. It it's is, it's incredible. Insane. The fact that someone would have been looking at it afterwards, they would have been doing updates and stuff, surely. Someone would have been looking through the code afterwards and still it, it, took, a, it took modders, it took fans to, to spot the error and, and go some way to fixing what was really wrong with this game. You think about that 48 score on Metacritic and all the reviews that point towards this bad AI, that one single character, I mean, how, how many more? Is that yeah. worth 20 points a minute? <laughs> I mean, you don't know, do you? You don't know how better, much better it would have yeah, done. One single character. It's a it's a lesson to all coders out there ever, right? Check your spelling. Check your fucking spelling. PC Gamer decided to try the fix out for themselves, and they uploaded some before and after comparisons for people to have a look at. If the typo is left in the game's code as is, PC Gamer said the aliens will barely attempt to attack the player. They are generally sluggish when moving. Remember, this is the version that was in the review copy of the game at launch. But with the typo corrected, PC Gamer said the aliens were noticeably more aggressive, they attack faster, and were much better at tracking the player through levels. Kotaku also played the game with a fixer plan and they noted the aliens would now attempt to dodge gunfire and flank the players from different angles. However, it is worth mentioning that this of course does not fix the game completely. Kotaku says while it does improve the AI somewhat, the aliens still gather up in groups, which makes it all too easy for players to mow them down without much challenge. Uh, this isn't the first time anything like this has happened either. There was the incident of uh, Civilization, I think it was Civilization 6, where a small typo made the other AI in the world really aggressive, so you ended up getting nuked by Gandhi and stuff like that. It was just a very a simple error in code, and it just completely changes the game. So this has happened before, but this this is a this is a big one. Getting nuked by Gandhi, you can you, so That's people will big. spot that straight away, yeah. right? But Aliens, Clone, and Marines. <laughs> Hang on they, a <laughs> how, how long ago did that happen, right? And how long did it go unchecked and unfixed? So we can assume that nobody spotted this for four years in Aliens, Colonial, and Marines. That, that is a long time to go with shit AI in the game. If they did spot it, no one said anything, and it took these modders to to fix it and if you download this if you download this game which is supposed to just it's a bit of an overhaul of the game all around really but this is just like it feels like they've just gone oh we spotted this mistake as well so we just fixed that it's that's not the point of the mod <laughs> the point of the yeah. mod is that it's an overhaul but these guys fixed it and uh, so the game looks better with that mod and it actually plays better and the people on reset era which is where this was kind of put under the magnifying glass and to some extent with people saying the game is actually much better now with this mod applied this overhaul applied because you know you can get the game for like two quid and it's worth checking out just for this mod alone. It shows you, you know, again, what this game could have been when it launched if it didn't have all these problems. And, you know, fixing the AI is one thing, but it's still going to have writing. Well, it's not going to look as good. Maybe as if you change a couple more characters, you can fix the damn problems too. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe worth, it's, worth the shot. Maybe it's just replete with spelling errors, <laughs> and that's the whole problem. Did you play Aliens Colonial Marines when it came out? What did you think of it back then? And if not, I mean, does this mod, does the idea of somebody actually fixing it make it, you know, maybe, maybe it's worth checking out? Let us know down in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out that video right there if you want and check out the link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.